Hey, I am the Supreme Voice, and this is a water signs reading. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, um, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be cross watching for a water sign. I was going to say you could be cross-watching for your water placement. So let me just say that. I didn't plan on saying that, but you could be, okay? So you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or you are a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and you are watching this reading. I am the Supreme Voice. I consider myself to be way more of a messenger than a tarot reader. However, you may find the channel messages I deliver to you may resonate. You may find that the tarot resonates. Either way it goes, drop me some messages in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Come subscribe to my channel. What's up, Supreme Team? How y'all doing? Maybe you're a water sign who watches my collective readings. Maybe you're a water sign who has cross-watched for the sign of Capricorn or Libra or any other sign I've done, okay? So, uh, the first channel message I have for you was um, somebody's gonna try to take something that is your story and make it their own, okay? But whoever's doing this, they did wrong. They did wrong for doing it. It's almost as if... They've sat back and they've listened to you say something. And then instead of them saying what their side of the story is, they're going to take it and they're going to make it their own story. Okay. The second message I got has to actually do with water. Like the pipes in which the water goes through, but water is also something about emotions. So there could be something about the way that emotions are being filtered through something, okay? But I'm definitely getting something about contaminated water or hard water, like maybe make your skin itch or something about the water pipe. So you could have some sort of lime buildup with the water pipes or they could be just hard water and that could be in real time, okay? So with the Kipper deck, when I first seen it and I decided to use it for the water signs, something said just take one card. So we're gonna start off with just one card. You have some sort of manifestation coming your way too. Okay, there goes with one card and it's marriage in reverse. At the bottom of the deck is concern in reverse. Someone doesn't even give a damn about marriage. This could be yourself where you do not care whether or not you do or don't get married. Um, I'm also picking up in a marriage situation where somebody is hella disrespectful. They have no concern for the fact that they are in an actual marriage, partnership, relationship, whatever. So let's go ahead and carry on water signs. Once again, this is for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you could be cross watching for a water sign in real time, okay? So let's go ahead and get this thing started. I just seen um, Scorpio in my third eye, so something can be very significant about two water signs or something significant about somebody cross-watching for the sign of Scorpio. Something can also be significant about just the sign of Scorpio, which is a new beginning, um, the ending of something, or some sort of transformation. The first card out is the Page of Swords in reverse. My crown is itching in real time. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow. Ooh, I mean, I'm literally started itching. That's the Four of Swords. And we got the Judgment. Let's get five with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And that's what I'm talking about, about water. But the last time my hair was washed, it was at the beautician. But shit, I don't know. <laughs> that just started. Like I have not had any head itching at all. So um, Five of Swords in reverse. 
So right out the back, I'm picking up some sorts of like, someone's all in their head about something that, some somebody's sleeping with somebody, all right? Um, with the judgment out here, in fact, there's something about someone sleeping with someone that's out of pocket. Um, you could have also called judgment on a situation that you discovered were, that somebody was sleeping with another person. This is giving me, and then with the Page of Swords in reverse, um, there's something significant about like someone really feeling resentful towards a specific person somebody is sleeping with. Like, it's giving me someone that'll say, now you know you could have chose that over there, but instead you chose this. So if this, if this is your situation, it's looking like someone chose someone of a lower class or because it's a page someone could have went towards someone younger or there could be gossip there could be gossip slander in regards to somebody that someone is sleeping with um this could be your partner this could be happening in real time we got the six of pentacles to the five of swords somebody could be calling somebody weak saying somebody ain't got shit um, why would you sleep with that kind of person? This don't make no sense. Like, but whoever you are, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cross Watcher, there is some sense of something you're in, you're on the right track with it. I mean, the judgment is in the upright. I don't know who this concerns with, but there's something about an economical background of another person. Especially with the six of pentacles being out here, Libra and energy. There's something, and someone could just be, if it's not economical background, then it's somebody who is of lesser intelligence. We got the Ten of Swords, lots of swords coming out here. We got lots of air, a whole lot of air. You could be dealing with the air sign, or there's an air sign cross-watching, Libra, Aquarius, um, uh, Gemini. But why did I just hear myself say Pisces when I know Pisces? So it could be dealing with another Pisces. Um, there's something about you questioning or asking. It's kind of giving me where somebody is say, well, are you still sleeping with this person? Are y'all still fucking or something like that? I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What do we have here for the water signs? The nine of swords in the upright. Hmm. This has been an ongoing situation. This has been something that's been happening over and over again. I'm getting, whoever you are, you're very much in the right for questioning a situation, wanting to know about something. Um, you appear to be very passionate about whatever this is, the Page of Pentacles. There's a possibility you could be cross-watching lots of tarot or finding out information through tarot. For others of you, there's something about a plan. This could be some sort of setup or some sort of plan that you have in mind with this King of Wands in reverse. Okay, there's somebody in jail. Someone plans on putting somebody in jail. Somebody plans. This is, okay, this, what I'm about to say to you is a um, future prediction. There's something about somebody putting someone in jail, um, feeling some type of way about a situation, okay? I'm also picking up that whoever someone is sleeping with, they have a way of manipulating that particular person to where they're putting someone or making someone feel as if they're in some sort of mental prison. Like they, it's like an ongoing battle. It's something like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But what I'm also picking up with this is that there's like this manipulation factor going on with the King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Somebody is basically like doing something in order to keep somebody imprisoned. Let's keep going. Two of Pentacles. Oh yeah, somebody's trying to definitely heavy on the fact that somebody's doing something to fuck with someone's finances. I'm also picking up where, I don't know, 
the numbers 15 and 17 are significant. Um, somebody, you could have like a child um, that if you have a daughter, maybe this daughter is seeing somebody older. Page of Swords came out here first. So that makes me, it puts me in the mindset of a, a child. But at the same time, there's something that is being called judgment on. Like there, and it's, and it, it feels right. Cause it's in the midst of all of this where somebody's standing up and being like, mm mm, this here ain't right. But somebody's trying to create a narrative about whatever, how something is right. Star card in reverse. Oh shit. Aquarius energy. The King of Wands is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but the King of Wands is my Sagittarius card. But there's something significant. This will bring shame. Something's very shameful, okay? Um, with the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's almost as if there's this Knight of Pentacles here with the Four of Cups. There's somebody trying to deliver something to someone. Okay, there could be something you're expecting to hear or someone trying to get a message to another individual to get them to open up about something. Oh, this is a fantasy. This ain't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work. The page of wands in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse. This is something that is like somebody could be dreaming that if this only if they could just get this particular message to you if they could just get through to you if they can just get you to shift your energy and open up to see their side of the story mm. somebody's name can be natasha i'm also picking up on a leticia we got the sick oh yeah somebody's been doing this for a while somebody's been abusing like someone's emotions with the six of cups out here um Someone's also been making another person feel as if they're shit. I don't know. I'm just picking that up with the hierophant at their job. Yeah. For some of you guys, this has to do with a boss or someone you work with. With that being said, kind of like someone saying somebody's not good enough. Look at that. Yeah. Somebody wants somebody to go. Somebody wants to drop somebody to drop everything, how they feel. This is putting me into the mindset of someone manipulating somebody to say like, you're not good enough for this. It's like, if there was a person who loved to play the flute, they're like, oh, you're not good enough to play the flute. Just give it all up. Somebody wants somebody just to just stop what they're doing, leave behind their dreams or goals, or even what they feel or what they see about a certain situation. Yeah. Look at that. Someone could definitely be very jealous of another person. There's something about jealousy. Like somebody wants someone just to turn their back. They And then whenever they turn their back, they can't even move forward. It's got something to do with someone's skill set, something someone's doing. And someone feels like someone's manipulative someone's manipulative somebody is getting someone off of their life purpose let's just put it that way too let's keep going someone definitely doesn't respect um partnerships or unions we got the high priestess in reverse wow this is a lot of shit that's pisces energy like someone is verbally abusive someone shouts a lot someone uh could be like on a corner starting shit starting mess they start fights when they don't get their way someone could be throwing temper tantrums um with the knight of swords in reverse whoever this person is they are so fucking stressed and burnt out they're projecting all like they project all their energy on someone else but they want someone else to feel like they're shit with the two of swords here oh yeah oh yeah look Someone crazy is fuck. All in their head, they emotion. Someone's emotionally and mentally abusive. Got the high priestess. Excuse me, the empress. Okay, I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but somebody could be like sexist. Like somebody could be like, I can't stand women or I can't stand men. 
someone looks down at another uh, sex as if they're less than. Oh yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse to the Empress. Someone looks down at this Empress energy, Taurus, Libra and energy, someone who's very balanced, someone who's very beautiful. Um, this energy here is the kind of energy that no matter what they wear, no matter what they do, they still come out looking very, very gorgeous, but some, or handsome, because you could be an emperor in that energy, but somebody like causes a lot of confusion and discord. They constantly pick at another person's self-esteem through emotional and verbal abuse. Okay. What's the four of? wands out here for tell me about this four of wands with the fool somebody jumps up and fucking leaves this is like a beautiful home this is like a it's like a situation where it's kind of like what the fuck is going on okay now i did mention someone doesn't um care about their marriage someone don't care about the home someone doesn't care about the stable environment they're in this is giving me a situation with the uh four of wands the full card more aquarius energy somebody could be on an aquarius piscean cusp because i've got uh the star card the high priestess and now the full card out here something could be significant about february march um but what I'm picking up from this is that, like, look at this. This is in the upright. And someone decides they no longer even want to be there. Like, I'm running away. I'm taking off. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going. Water signs. I can't make it up. Someone took off. And if this has not happened, this is going to happen. Someone's taking off because... They don't feel respected. They don't feel loved. It's something going on. If this is happening to you and you need some sort of confirmation, eventually you're going to break free from this cage. Whatever someone's making you feel um, or this is what someone's saying about you. Someone take, takes off. I'm talking about somebody packs their fucking car up and everything. Somebody just leaves with what clothes is on their back. Start walking. Mm. Page of Wands with the Emperor. I'm also picking up, you're going to find a new job. You're going to have a new beginning. Um, things are going to change drastically. Somebody's into sunglasses or somebody wears shades. Somebody could be into expensive glasses or sunglasses. Like that is a part of their attire. They're constantly wearing glasses, whether it's yourself or someone else or somebody that is cross-watching right now. Let's keep going. Water signs, please. What about the water? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Capricorn energy, Aries energy out here. Okay. Okay. So just know that whenever you do make this particular move, there will be somebody who is criticizing you, somebody who is cruel, someone who's lying, creating slander, someone that's like, someone's also going to lie about the reason why you left, okay? Someone's not going to be very honest on why you took off, why you made a decision. Somebody's name starts with T-H. But what I really seen was T-H-U-M-B, thumb. Did somebody hitchhike? I know that sounds crazy. It's old school, but someone caught a ride to get someplace or someone's catching a ride or something like that. I don't know. I mean, the chariot is there. Somebody could have picked somebody up from someone's home. All right. I'm also picking up that for some of you guys, there's something about you finding or having a new beginning with this emperor energy or empress energy. You could be a masculine, but somebody catches a ride with somebody. There's something about that. Yeah, someone's saying all this shit because they're only heartbroken. And this could be a king or a queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy out here. Someone's going to lie and slander and say a whole bunch of things. For some of you guys, this is happening in real time. It's like, mm. What I said in the beginning, someone's creating a, like a, someone's making your story their story. Let's keep going. 
with the two of wands in reverse. Someone's unable to travel towards you. I just, um, there's a divine feminine um, reading coming up. Someone doesn't have the ability to get to you. Someone could possibly be on house arrest or um, for some reason, especially if you're leaving the country or if you're going someplace else, someone doesn't have a way to get to you. Okay. Someone could also be sick or they've got some sorts of health issues that stops them from coming towards you with the Seven of Pentacles. Let's keep going. I'm about to switch decks. What about the water signs with the Nine of Cups? Okay, so there's something that you're doing. There's something you could be saving up for, something that you could be... Um, building and doing but i'm also picking up that somebody is sitting around constantly thinking about you while they're working so when someone works um they think about you i just seen the number i just seen amfm there's something about somebody listening to the radio maybe you listen to the radio but if someone listens to the radio they could be possibly be old school okay somebody could also be listening to music and thinking about you because i just seen amfm or this is you um, there could be a favorite song or there's a song that you've heard or there's something about music that's significant in this reading. Nine of Cups is in reverse with a sun card. Yeah, somebody thinks about you quite a bit. But what's crazy is that they're a real bitch ass. And the reason why is because they're lying and they're telling some other kind of thing. They're switching things up and making it appear as if you were the person that did something. And they're doing this because they're heartbroken. They have no the they don't have the ability to, to get to you. Now, for some of you guys, they actually don't have the ability to get to you, get up under your skin, abuse you emotionally, verbally any longer, okay? I got Leo energy out here. Sun card is in reverse. This person could also listen to music in the dark while they're sleeping. I don't know. Or there's some sort of situation where they get really, really sad. Things come over them. They get super emotional. Maybe you guys listen to music together. You guys have music together or if there's a favorite song or something, but I'm picking up something about music. But then again, AM, FM is a frequency which means that somebody's frequently sad. King of Cups out here with the world. Oh, oh, okay. So somebody listens to music or somebody has these times or these moments along and what they start thinking about, who's loving you? Mm-hmm. The things that have changed. I got Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, and um, Scorpio. What's changed in your world? Mm hmm. I'm also picking up that a lot of you guys have become a lot more religious or spiritual of some type. Um, you've changed drastically. You don't even look the same. I know this is going to sound real crazy what I'm about to say, but I'm speaking to somebody who you favor your father. You look like your father. Something about your father is significant or your behaviors or if you're a feminine then you're stepping into your masculine energy. Or if you're a masculine, you actually do favor your father. Somebody's name is Joseph. I got the hangman. Piscean energy. What's going on with this? With the higher font. Okay, why is some, what's this hangman out here for? With the five of pentacles. Give me one more, please. Thank you. Please. The Queen of Swords in reverse. There is somebody, somebody's getting some sort of information from. And somebody is uh, telling somebody, somebody is alone. Um, somebody is confusing another person. I'm getting a download right now that if somebody is not getting information from someone you know, then somebody is getting readings on you. Someone could be telling someone that um, there's some sort of delays in you getting married or you getting into a relationship, but someone's getting some sorts of information about you from someone else. Or if you are already in a divine partnership, then someone is saying that you're broke. You don't have any money. 
five of pentacles with the queen of swords someone's lying and saying things we already have the um uh uh Ace of Swords come out here in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is getting readings and someone's telling somebody that you're broke, that you don't have shit, that you're alone, you're out in the cold, and that whatever you're doing is unsuccessful and you're unhappy. See, this is what I'm talking about. Someone is taking someone else's narrative and, like, someone's switching up the narrative. Let's keep going. Three of Pentacles, I told you. Someone is speaking to someone. Someone is asking someone questions. We're getting ready to get the who deck out here. Yeah, someone's speaking to somebody. Somebody's asking people questions um, regarding you. Someone could definitely be getting like readings done or watching tarot or whatever. There's some sorts of lies being told. Where are we at? 26 minutes for the water signs. Who? Who? Let's get three more. Who? Who? Okay. All my two. We got traveler, a clergy, homeless, and a drunkard. Somebody could be consulting um, somebody that is religious um, or you're dealing with somebody who is religious. Um, there's something about, and remember I just mentioned someone saying that you're homeless, you're broke or something like that. Um, someone could also just be projecting this into your energy as well. Someone assuming that you're homeless or that you're drunk. Um, or you could be cross-watching for a water sign, and this is something that they're actually going through. I'm also getting with Traveler being here. Somebody is, like, roaming around, okay? I don't know if this is you or someone else, but someone is actually roaming around a lot. Like, this could be anything from couch surfing to just homelessness, living in the streets, or living with fam. Like, someone's bouncing around lots and lots of places, Okay. Something about a clergy, a guardian of faith, religion, morality. Let's keep going. Who? A ninja. And then we've got two cards here. Friend and young. Okay, so you have a friend in your energy. This particular person is being sneaky ninja energy gives me sneaky energy someone that's in the shadows um it says master of stealth shadow walker you could have a friend that's sneaky in your energy um someone from when you were younger or this friend is younger than you um yeah that's for somebody let's keep going okay last two cards we got soldier and courier. There's somebody that's in the military, okay? I'm also picking up someone that could um, be working in transportation or uh, someone who delivers things, could be delivering a message. You could be receiving a message from someone who is in the military, okay? That's for somebody. I just want to make sure I'm not channeling any other messages from here. You could be receiving some sorts of news about somebody having a hangover, somebody doing something in public, someone, um, you know, going from place to place because they have some sorts of addictions on this card it says alcoholism, addictions and avoidance and abuse. Somebody could be avoiding you because they do not want to be honest about their alcoholism or their addictions or something. You could be receiving a message in regards to this. This person needs a place to stay. This person could be young. There can also be someone young in the military or just take what resonates. Okay. 
take what resonates. Someone's going to be, this is happening in real time, this prediction. You're going to receive a message in regards to somebody or hear something about someone. Um, I'm also picking up somebody that could be in the military who has some sorts of addiction issues as well. All right, I do want to pull from my account messages deck, and then I'm going to end this reading with some career and life oracles. Something about somebody starting from the bottom as well. So I mentioned something about a manifestation coming your way, especially if you started from the bottom. You've been working really, really hard. Ooh, my goodness. The inside of my nose. Wow, I've never really felt that feeling before. It, it felt kind of like, you know how you drink a soda? And um, it gives you that little that little burn-like feeling. That's what I just felt inside of my nose. Someone loves sluts. And he started it. There could be a masculine that started something. Um, somebody that is just in, they're promiscuous. They love to deal with a certain caliber of women. That's their stilo. That's how they operate. Somebody's getting money. Cross watcher or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're expecting some sort of money to come to you. You could be receiving omens. That's leading you to know that the money is on its way. Wake up for your soul to grow. Somebody, it's time for you to step into your life purpose. And then I've got a gold digger. So someone deals with like aggressive gold diggers. Someone deals with women who want money. They're really into, um, and, and, and whoever you're dealing with, if this is a masculine, they initiate this. There's someone who initiates this type of energy with these particular people. And someone pill pops. Somebody is into alcohol and drinking or drugs, okay? Change your path. Somebody, you're in the midst of upgrading your life spiritually. Um, you're in the midst of living in your north node. And then the last card I'm pulling is ice. There's somebody in your energy that's really super fucking cold. Somebody who is, this This person can be a water sign as well. But whoever this person is, they purposely do not like to speak to you on purpose. They don't like to show any form of emotion. Um, this particular person could be into some sort of alcoholism or drugs themselves. Or they could just be addicted to being a really cruel ass person. Let's move over here to the Life and Oracle deck. Water signs. Water. Somebody wears beads on their braids. It could be a child, and that's happening in real time. Or somebody actually like has some sorts of beads on their braids, or someone's a braider. I'm picking up something about braids right now. And I also just seen SHM. So someone could have those name those letters in their name. S-H-M. Water signs. Oh, that jumped out. Good luck. Your fortune is improving. And you will get a lucky break soon. What did I tell you? Collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the near future. Uh, something could be significant about um, St. Patrick's Day. Somebody could have a birthday in March. I'm also picking up something about a great grandmother or a grandmother i don't know anyways let's keep going success the path you're on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going lots of little steps take you a long way you're on track wow i will let you know this though i don't know what's going on with my crown during your reading I, my head has not itched in weeks weeks there's some sorts of drama in your energy beware of troublemakers in the workplace the job you want may have too much upheaval to bear keep emotions and gossip in check i just want to say this because this was something that i'm channeling as i'm reading to you this includes online all right water signs take care bye-bye